Now I will explain you the definitions of the 21st century skills. First, let us talk about the critical thinking skill. The critical thinking is the capability of objective analysis of information and it includes the following qualities. Number one, fairness and open-mindedness. Number two, activeness and being informed. And number three, willingness to question or to entertain doubts. Number four, being independent. And number five, recognizing and assessing values peer pressure and the media influences. So this is very, very essential. Then problem solving is the skill of identifying the relevant piece of information when faced with the mass of data. And then uh, we need to know how to discard the unwanted information or the data that may not be useful to give a new information and finally relating one set of information to another in a different form by using experience relating new problems to the ones we have previously solved. And now coming to the creativity and innovation. These are the skills to explore and create fresh ways of thinking. Creatively refers to a new way of seeing or doing things, and that includes four components. Number one, fluency, generating new ideas. Number two, flexibility, shifting perspective easily. And number three, originality, so convincing of something new. And then elaboration, that is building on others' ideas. So innovative skills mean skills for thinking creatively to develop something new or unique or an improved version or something distinctive. So this is all about this. And now, now coming to the third skill that is collaborative skill. Collaboration is the ability to effectively work together with others. This skill involves working together while taking actions, respecting others' needs and their perspectives, and also contributing to and also accepting the final. Collaboration helps to develop interest and fun in the teaching learning process. It effectively broadens the cultural, social, and environmental boundaries, and also helps to understand, the child to understand the social and environmental concerns in a better way. So when they collaborate, they interact with everybody, so they learn a lot. And number four skill is communication. The communication refers to the ability to express one's opinions, desires, needs, apprehensions, etc. So expressing is a skill. So you, whatever you think you should be able to communicate or express it in a better way so that the opposite person understands well. And here oneself appropriately, they should be able to verbally and non-verbally, they should be able to express. Then coming to the information, literacy, media, literacy, and technology, literacy. Literacy itself is nothing but a knowledge. So these skills involve the ability to access information, traditional or digital media and technology to understand and critically evaluate different aspects of content and informational communicate it in an effective manner. And then comes the flexibility and adaptability. Flexibility and adaptability refers to a person's ability to change his or her actions and steps taken by him or her accordingly, according to a new situation. So that is what 
suddenly if you are put into a new situation how you will be able to change your mindset and adapt to it now in pandemic we all have experienced that because this is something which is not there and we have not experienced before so how did we adapt and how flexible we were so flexibility and adaptability is how you get along with a new situation and effectively facing an unprecedented situation without compromising on ethics and values so that should not change and this adaptability can be defined as creating modifications or changes in one's self to suit the new environment for students these can be understood as the skills required to be flexible and adaptive to the situations around them and find the best possible solution to go forward despite adverse conditions and then comes the leadership and responsibility so leadership is required everywhere need not be that you need to wear a tag as a leader every individual should carry the leadership ability or the skill so leadership is the ability to lead a team and be capable of effective team management in relation to the real world challenges these skills teach a child how to support the development of the key personal qualities such as perseverance being committed and responsible it also includes the resilience and self confidence and how to foster a commitment to lifelong learning so this is very very important then coming to the initiative and self direction because this is very very important one cannot wait that someone will come and boost you or push you or give you an a, a start up starting or anything we need to be very initiative so being responsible means being a good and effective sensitive citizen be aware of the important social and national issues that may have an impact on our daily lives both as a human being and as a student we should be aware of the important social and national issues that may have an impact on our lives in future both as a human being and as a student so we have to be aware of our fundamental duties and rights and embed the core democratic values of india and strive to live by them so this is very very important and we need to be responsible citizen then initiative and self direction is initiation skill involves the ability to begin a task independently it helps the child to build his or her own path of development they should be on their own the self direction is a skill to work with integrity on self motivation and taking initiative so integrity plays a major role in every individual then productivity and accountability so productivity in the student can be understood as the fulfillment of any task within a given time period accountability can be understood as a feeling responsible for any task done so we should take that responsible be it right or wrong success or failure so developing these skills in a student helps her or him to work effectively and also make him or her reliable for other peers by being accountable for his or her actions then social and cross cultural interaction what does that mean these are the skills to communicate work collaboratively and effectively in a diverse social and cultural environments 
So we should not forget that we are not living alone in this universe. We have people working along and living along with us. So we should also be responsible about the society and we should follow our ethics and morals and we should be creative, innovative and also we need to be productive and responsible for all our actions. And also we should have an initiation, self-direction and self-learning and a lifelong learning. All these skills are called as 21st century skills. And this is going to help every one of us to face the challenges of this 21st century. Stay blessed.